Hello, hello. So I'm at Phil's and working on some epoxy stuff and I don't know if I've ever uh, highlighted any of my epoxy tricks. <laughs> so we're on to tricks. So I, I've got, here let's do a, one of these. So I've got two maple tops. Very unusual little slab and, and uh, uh, full epoxy tables have been selling. So he suggested that I try it. I've never done um, a, a full finish of epoxy. So I had a void. I filled that on both of those. Um, I think I've got like two coats maybe. And then, so I took my router and I surfaced it again. And I'm, I maybe have a final coat going on, I hope. So I'm gonna sand this out and see how it feels. Uh, you know, you can see in the shine, right, see the little bit of, of irregularities while well, I was trying to take some of those different heights out um, with the surfacing router. And then I have my tables that I need to fill some voids. So it's a, especially with, with Tables, you know, where food's involved, I like to fill all that stuff. I don't like, you know, who wants to have big open sores? So what I found is that you have to, to put a little bit of uh, lacquer around the, where you want it. Because that, that uh, epoxy goes in and it actually soaks into the wood and and even sanding and everything else that you do it's like it always stays that little bit di discolored so i've got a lot of little nicks dings um knots um, these are little snipes and um that need filling of course the knots all the voids and i guess i gotta shut it off and go answer the phone so that's what i'm doing i'll shoot another video after i'm done bye